It's just, it's so crazy. Like God can truly do anything. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody. If you are new here, this is my YouTube channel, my little corner of the internet. I would love if you subscribed. I make faith-based content, whether that's like overtly through videos like this or more subliminally through just showing you how I walk out my Christian faith in my daily life in vlogs. I would love to have you join the family. I'm super excited about today's video. I'm gonna be talking about how the Daniel Fast actually, literally, no clickbait, it changed my life completely. And I did this fast in January of 2019 and I would not be sitting in my own apartment in the finance field, having a boyfriend who just moved to Atlanta, who we are going through this courtship process. None of this would be happening had I not done the Daniel Fast. So if you're interested in kind of hearing about my story and learning about my journey and learning about how good God is through just getting a glimpse in what he's done in my life, then keep on watching. to give you guys a little bit of background information about what the fast is and I also really need to paint a picture for you of where I was in January of 2019. So the Daniel fast is a 21 day fast that originates from the book of Daniel. So it's Daniel 10, 2 through 3. The big things that you are avoiding with the Daniel fast are the following. No meat, no sugar, no processed foods, no dairy, and this one is really hard or at least it was really hard for me, no caffeine. But more or less, a fast is a way for you to deepen your connection with God, to really focus on Him and take away the distractions and really hear from Him because you just have this like laser focus on Him. And then the last thing I wanted to just kind of break down for you guys and give you really like painting a picture of where I was in January of 2019 when I did this fast. I was living at home in Orlando, Florida with my mom and my sister. I had just decided to not attend the nursing school program that I got into and I was in a place of finally and guys I mean finally like one of those like ugh, finally like from the depths of your soul finally I was finally giving over my relationships and my desire to be in a relationship and my desire to do it all myself and figure it out all myself, I was finally laying that down to God as well because I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. And so that's really where I was, lost, confused, not sure about where I should take my life, what direction I should take my life in, should I pursue health, that's what my degree is in, should I go and do something else because I really don't feel like I have this passion towards health, but health makes sense. Also, I'm single, I really desire to be in a God-centered relationship, but I have never seen that. I don't know what that looks like, and I also don't know anyone who would, who would want to really participate in that with me. And so that is where I was. Now let's hop into what this fast did and how it transformed my life. So one of the first things I did on the fast was set my desire or set what I was hoping to get out of the fast. And I made this clear to God and I remember writing this down in my journal and just letting him know after these 21 days, I want direction and I want clarity. Like if what you're requesting or what you're wanting from him aligns with what he has for you, like it's yours. And so that is something that I went into kind of setting what I wanted and like making it clear for myself and also communicating that to God. I found that to be really helpful. So throughout the 21 days, there are a lot of things that were revealed to me and ultimately so many little things happened that led to where I am now. And that's kind of what we're gonna talk about. So we're gonna break this up into three categories. We're gonna talk about relationships, we're gonna talk about my profession, and we're gonna talk about personal revelations that God revealed to me during this time. And kind of just really give you insight into the things that happened during the Daniel Fast in those specific areas because those were the areas that were impacted the most. So let's go ahead and start with my profession. 
So like I told you guys in my little backstory, giving you a little insight into where I was in January of 2019, I was confused. I did not know where I was going in my career. I was really drawn to the careers that I was drawn to. So originally becoming a physician assistant, and then after that, wanting to become a registered nurse. I was drawn to these fields because of the money that comes with those professions, but also because that is where my degree was. I majored in health sciences in college, so that kind of just made logical sense to me. But when I was pursuing these different careers, it was just not connecting. It was, it just didn't feel right, to be honest. Like, I feel like that could be the simplest way I could say it. So when I decided to not go to nursing school, that was really me acknowledging this lack of peace I felt while pursuing these careers and really going to God and asking for clarity on what it is I'm supposed to do. And so the first thing that he revealed to me was that I am not supposed to be in the healthcare field. And that was like a double-edged sword. I felt on one hand super relieved because it was like, ugh, these things, I've been trying to force myself into this box and it just hasn't been working and just, it was a relief to know that I don't have to do that anymore. But it also was like not a relief because it's like, okay, well if it's not health, then what is it, you know? So this is where God did things that only God can do. So while I was applying to nursing school, the program I was going to was extremely expensive. I'm talking $44,000 a year expensive, like just stupid expensive. So of course I decided to pick up a job to help save uh, money for school. So I go to a temp agency and I get hired as a billing specialist at the fire department. Now I had never worked in finance, I had never really heard of a billing specialist prior to accepting this position, but it seemed simple enough and when I got in there, I really enjoyed it. I just took to it really well. I've always liked numbers, I've always liked the structure that numbers bring, but I didn't really think much of it while I was at that role. Like I never thought about staying in that role, I never thought about pursuing anything in finance. I had my eye on nursing. But it was during the fast, I was browsing on Facebook and one of my friends that I met in Korea, she worked at a company and it's a company that I'm with now. They are a startup in San Francisco at the time and they are moving and opening their, well not moving, but they were opening their first office up here in Atlanta. And the startup is booming. They are just crushing it in the IoT field and she posted about it. And I see her post and I know her from Korea so she's a familiar face and I value her opinion. So I click. I read through the website, I go over to the Atlanta office on careers, and I see the jobs that they are hiring for. And the first job I see is billing specialist. And that is when I was just like, wow, this job that I thought was simply a means to an end to go to nursing school is going to be that bridge that allows me to have just enough experience to put it on my resume to maybe qualify for this position at this company. It was just like, wow. I had never heard of a billing specialist like four months ago and here I am, I want to apply to become a billing specialist at this tech company in Atlanta. And I prayed about it and I brought that desire to God and I just felt so much peace. I felt like he really gave me the green light and I applied. I cast my net pretty wide. I applied for that role as well as a support role. I can go further into detail about that application process because it was a whirlwind. It was a roller coaster, okay? But God is so good and I got the role ultimately. I got the job as a billing specialist. I have been promoted now, it's been a year. I've been promoted to an AR accountant and I am in the finance field. <laughs> like it just, it's so crazy. Like God can truly do anything. And not only am I in the finance field, but I am good at what I do. I enjoy what I do. I love my life in Atlanta. I love living in Atlanta. And it wasn't my goal necessarily to move out from Orlando, but he has brought me to this place for a reason. And I adore the city of Atlanta. The things that were lacking for me in Orlando, Atlanta has all of it. And I'm just like, he, he just knows his children so well. And so that is the first major life altering thing that God did for me during the Daniel fast. I found the job I am at now, which led me to move, which led me 
to make just as much money as I would have if I would have pursued nursing and gone with my own strength and gone with my own might and desire and gone, gone that path, I am here, like comfortable. And it is just, it's just amazing. So that was the first sphere of my life that changed dramatically while I was doing the Daniel fast. And the next sphere is relationships. It was in December of 2019. So a month before I started the fast, I decided that I'm really just gonna put my hands up and trust God in this area. So while I'm on the fast, I am really praying to God and asking him to help me with my unbelief. I didn't realize it, but I had so much unbelief in me that who I wanted, like who I believed God had made my partner, my life partner to be, that he didn't exist. It's because I had never seen anyone that possessed the characteristics that I desired in my husband. I had never met a man like that at all. Never seen one, never heard of him. And so it was just so hard for me to believe that what I wanted existed. But I knew that God had placed those desires in my heart for a reason and I needed to trust him and I needed to know that he one existed and two I don't need to go find him that he is gonna find me and so God really really helped me with my unbelief during this season and Three weeks after I finished the fast that is when my boyfriend literally slid back into my life by sliding into my DMs um, I can kind of go further into that story of how we re-met again, but originally we met as freshmen. So he was 17 and I was 18, and we both were living in the campus dorms for the freshman campus dorms at FIU. Yeah, and he came back into my life, and it's so crazy because I always felt like I was going to end up with someone that I knew before, like that I had known at some point in my life. And I just always had this feeling and lo and behold, you know, like that's what's happening. And he's everything that is on my list, like everything, everything that I didn't believe existed. Like he existed and not only did he exist, I like knew him when I was 18 and now I get to like re-know him when he's like a grown man and I'm a grown woman and we both on the same path and walk in the same direction. Like it is just, beautiful and the best part about it for me is that when I tell the story like God gets all the glory you know like I didn't strive for this I didn't pursue this I didn't try to seek him out like I literally was doing what God called me to do was to sit back and trust him and bam he just came into my life so yes I'm so grateful and this is an area of my life that I struggled with for for a long time and I probably will make another video just about relationships and my past and just kind of the transformation that God has has brought me through in this area but just know that this was like major for me just just major and life altering and yeah so that is the second area that transformed while I was on the Daniel fast so last but not least the area of my life that really transformed during these 21 days it was just my ability to connect with God I feel like this is the heart of what the fast is about is just focusing and surrendering your flesh and really getting clear and focusing on what God has for you and wants for you and what he is trying to communicate to you. Life gets really busy. I think we all know that. And so this fast was really an opportunity for me to channel every other thing that I would be doing and spending time on and pointing it to him. I started reading the book of Daniel and getting more clear on why this fast was even talked about in the Bible and I found that to be really helpful. I started finding this thing inside of me that really loved studying the Bible and like really breaking down a chapter, the way that a word was used, why it was used that way and it was like I was transferring my desire to study because I do naturally enjoy studying which is kind of weird but like how God made me. So I was studying a lot for nursing school, like prepping for the exam, like the interest exam for that, as well as when I was pursuing uh, PA stuff. I was studying a lot because I went back to school. And so that same energy that I was putting into studying the human body, I was able to study his word. And that same vigor that I have for just learning and absorbing new knowledge, I was putting that into the Bible and spending time with him and understanding who he is and 
understanding where my idea of him was limited and trying to expand it and praying to him and believing in him for that expansion. And it has just been something that I think I'm going to always continue to grow in and just remembering constantly to invite him into everything, to pursue him at all costs, to make room for him in my life, to not give him the leftovers, but to really like carve out that time and let that be his time that is a non-negotiable. And yeah, so that is the last thing that the Daniel Fast was really able to transform in my life. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and also lets me know what kind of content you guys are enjoying. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to. I'll be posting a new video every Tuesday, so get excited. And I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.